we're gonna let's talk about the modern day guys, right? Uh, I heard you, man. You made a comment on my on the Instagram, the two ten box team. I thought it was very interesting. Uh-huh. We we're talking about uh, it was about Jerron Butzenis, and you said yeah. you think he's the next Sugar Ray Leonard. Oh yeah, man. He's he's really good. He, he like he's he's real quick and fast with the hands. I mean, he's he's. he's he has good reflexes. I mean, reflexes is, is, is very important, in, imperative in boxing. I mean, it's, it's, it will help you. Like you can't teach reflexes, basically, no, right? No, you can't teach. You, you, it's either you have it or you don't. I mean, it's one of those things that you're blessed with it. I mean, like, and uh, reflexes, I mean, you can, like, that you you can do a lot of things. You, you have great reflexes. You can counter punch. You can move. You can see the punches coming in. And you can do a lot of things, you know, and move, move around. and. And that's that's when your reflex is coming handy. When you watch boxing, do you look more for a guy with style, a guy that can do it all, like not just a puncher, not just a boxer, but like a guy that can move forward, move back? Is that something that that appeals to you? Yeah, I look at defenses and, and defense and offenses. Like, uh, yeah, but I, I, I would, and also the ring IQ, like you know, because sometimes guys. You know, they they set you up like I think Crawford. I mean, he, he says he's a point is up like he he wants him to throw one punch so he can counter with, you know, what he's uh, count to so he can counter punch and do what. I mean, he's really good at that. I, I think that's why he's my for for me Crawford is my the pound for pound the uh, right now. Because the number one. Number one for me, yeah, because he has a, a high IQ and he's uh, you know he's just like I said uh, he knows how to do. How to reflex it real good, and you know how to counter punch it when he when he has to. We talk often, and we've talked about the Bud and Spence before, and you and you've let me know several times. Bud switches, and that's one of the advantages right. that he has. Do you feel yeah. like that? That that's that's one of the advantages he has over Spence. Well, I mean, it's not really that 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 has advantage because mm-hmm. I mean, Spence has, can can fight. I mean, he can. I mean, he's he's good at fighting right handers and southpaws, but the thing is that he, he's a proper, he's really good, 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 good counter puncher, also Spence, but it's, it should be a good dreamy fight. But I, I just think that Crawford has more skill. I mean, more movement and and more more I think more, more athletic, more athletic, athletic ability. Now, a guy that kind of mimics your angles and pivots and from Texas, Bam Rodriguez. You being the only Mexican American from Texas that's made the Hall of Fame. When you watch Bam, what do you what do you see and what do you think about Bam Rodriguez? I mean, he's he's very good, very talented, and uh, you know he can be a. I mean, he's a world champ right now, but you know he can he can get there with you know, all the great ones, and he continues to is winning. And when you're winning, is everything, you know. And as long as he continues winning, I think he can be one of the great. Uh, I mean, you know, fighters in the world, especially from Texas as well. Do you see him as a pound for pound guy, like a guy that could be like a top three, top four pound for pound in the world? Oh well, yeah, it's, it's up to him. It's just a matter of time to, you know, like I said, winning, keep on winning. He'll be one of the top of guys in the world. You got to be a little bit lonely in that Hall of Fame. Do you want another, another, you know, another Tejano to join you? Oh well, yeah, it's important, especially from Texas, from San Antonio, close by. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's another, it, basically another uh, Latino, Hispanic, Mexican, American, whatever you want to call it. But you know.